Hello, Ebony here, and welcome back to Simply Divine Creations. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my autumn bucket list with you. I've done a spread in my bullet journal, of course, and I thought I'd just explain what I plan on doing for autumn this year. item on my autumn bucket list for 2020 is to host a high tea at home. I really love tea. I mean, I love coffee as well, but I also am an avid tea drinker. And so I thought, why not have a high tea at home? I literally have the biggest collection of teas ever, and I am constantly buying more tea more tea than I could ever drink so this is a good way to use it up whilst also getting to have a nice catch up with my family and friends and just enjoy their company. second item on my autumn bucket list is to make some caramel apples. I used to love these as a kid and I haven't had one in years and I thought it would just be a lot of fun to do, maybe with my husband, just like a nice bonding experience. And I found some recipes online that seem simple enough. I really like the idea of being able to customise the caramel apples with your own toppings and maybe make them a little bit healthier, I guess. I mean, it's an apple, right? So that counts as your one of your servings of fruit for the day, surely. Also, just a PSA here, I'm not the best artist. I am working on it, uh, so my doodles may not be, well you know, perfect, but I really like how they turned out. item on my autumn bucket list is to bake some pies, maybe some apple pies or some pumpkin pies, some nice autumn flavours. My husband and I recently actually just got ourselves a pie maker, so I'm wanting to try it out and try new things with it and I thought that this would be a good way to do that. item on my autumn bucket list is to knit a scarf. I have been trying to learn how to knit and I sort of really got into it at the start of last year and then fell off the wagon a bit so I want to pick it back up and actually finish a scarf for myself this year. <music> item on my list is to go on a picnic. It's just so nice to get out in nature and just enjoy lunch with the people you love and it's just a really nice experience I feel so I would really like to do that before the weather gets too cold. Also please excuse my very very poorly drawn picnic basket. 
trying to draw from an aerial view was just much, much more difficult than I anticipated, but I gave it a go. <music> item on my autumn bucket list is to make a pumpkin spice latte. Being from Australia, we don't have that many Starbucks. I know that there are Starbucks around in the bigger cities, but where I live there aren't actually any. So we don't really get to have the pumpkin spice lattes that often here. So I thought I would have a go at making it myself at home just to see what it's like. <music> The next item on my autumn bucket list is to decorate for autumn. And to go with this, I will actually be doing an autumn slash fall DIY decor video. So keep an eye out for that coming soon on my channel. I really love DIY and creating things and I love decorating. So I thought I would combine the two and make my house look pretty in the process. The second last item on my autumn bucket list is to bake some cupcakes and decorate them with an autumn slash fall theme. I really love baking cupcakes, I just think they're really easy to do and they are sort of like a blank canvas for decorating and it's edible art, who doesn't love that? I have done themed cupcakes for birthday parties and celebrations and things like that but I've never just done one for a season so I thought I would give that a go. I will probably also try incorporating autumn flavors like the pumpkin and the apple and things like that as well into the cupcake itself just to make it all tie in with the theme. <laughs> And the final item on my autumn 2020 bucket list is to go to a farmer's market. I have actually never been to a farmer's market, which considering I am 26 years old, I think is just crazy. So I would like to remedy that this year and go try it out. I also think this will tie in nicely with some of my other bucket list items as I can go and get myself some nice fresh food for all of my baking and creating. Thank you for watching my autumn 2020 bucket list in my bullet journal. I hope it's given you some ideas for your own autumn bucket list. Speaking of which, do you have an autumn bucket list? If so, I would love to hear what's on it. Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget, if you liked this video, to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see more content like this.